buddy, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com again. Hey, I have got a really, really cool K guitar for you today. This guitar was made many years, but it was only made in the larger body in one year, their very first year. This is a 1959 K Pacer. Now, they made a lot of these guitars, like I said, beyond 1959. However, in 1959, they made it with a 16-inch body, and in 1960, they went to a 15-inch wide body. So we were able to date this one. Actually, it's a little wider, too, though. They got just a little narrower in 1960, and they made them, oh, I want to say for another five years. So the Pacers have been around. However, if you find one with a 16-inch body, that is their first year model. Kay also used the speed bump pickups, which we all love. They sound so dark and lush and, and very, very musical. And this guitar had two of them. And of course, the uh, has the original knobs, got an original pick guard on it. Uh, we did replace the uh, three-way switch, which was completely shot. It just didn't work anymore. So we have a new uh, three-way switch, but it has the original bridge, has the original tailpiece, has the original single line uh, Cluson tuner, so it helps us age uh, the guitar also. And, uh, you know, everything else is original, and it's in absolutely beautiful shape. I have to say, when I got it, uh, it was not in beautiful shape. Uh, it was really, uh, really dirty and had been hanging around somewhere that, that was not uh, uh, being kept up. So uh, we cleaned it. I, I hand polished it. Uh, I rubbed out the finish. And boy, I'll tell you what, I was uh, rewarded with all my work with an absolutely beautiful guitar. It's got a spruce top. Um, and uh, you know what? This is a solid spruce top. I hadn't looked at that before, but that is not a, uh, a laminate on there. That's a solid spruce top. And of course it has maple, uh, nice flamey maple sides and a beautiful uh, back of maple that is, yep, it's one piece. Boy, that is one beautiful hunk of wood back there. Uh, the neck has got a nice uh, a mellow uh, C shape. A lot of your 50s guitars were using still some V shaped necks, which, uh, some of them were pretty severe. Uh, Kay was not known for that, I'm happy to say, because uh, I really don't get into a lot of those real severe uh, V-necks. This one has a nice round C. Uh, it's got a one and five inch, uh, uh, one and five eighths inch wide nut, uh, original nut on here, by the way. Uh, and uh, so the neck feels really good and our, our uh, tech set it up just beautifully. We lowered the bridge just a little bit to help give us a little more uh, uh, nice playing action on it. And uh, except for the logo, we had to, to put a logo on here. Uh, thank you, Banana uh, Guitars. We're gonna do a nice shout out for uh, Banana Guitars. They do all these really cool logos for these old guitars. And uh, Gary has always hooked us up with those and we're happy that he has them because uh, it did not have a logo when we got it. So we put a logo on it. So aside from that, uh, we just, we spent a lot of time with the guitar, uh, got to know it, uh, fixed up some things on it and it just, just what a great guitar. It has a 26 inch uh, scale neck, so it's, it's just a little bit longer. Uh, your spacing is just a little bit wider than say you might be used to on your Gibson guitars. But aside from that, it's just, uh, just a luscious guitar. <laughs> We've been on the neck, uh, neck alone. Let's go to the uh, two pickups together. All the way to the back. Ooh, that's nice. Hey, Gloria.
what a great, great guitar. Now, as cool as that guitar is, I'm really, really happy to tell you I also got the original case, and I couldn't have been happier when I got it. Uh, the case uh, is just as old as the guitar, so it's a 1959, and uh, there were some areas that really needed some attention, and it was coming apart. Uh, I used uh, uh, pieces of uh, guitar strap. I'm very clever. Uh, <laughs> I got my glue gun out, and we started uh, fixing some places. We glued a lot of places. Let's see, there's one place here. There's one place here that was really coming apart badly. So uh, if you have a better way of doing it, have at it. But I held the case together, which I'm happy because this is one really, really cool case. You open it up and you go, oh, 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 look at this. This red plush is just so cool. And you know, in these uh, chipboard cases, typically you didn't see the plush inside. You had the, the little, uh, uh, sprayed on paint stuff that uh, that is fine, but it's not this. I mean this red plush is absolutely gorgeous and the accessory box is still here. I couldn't believe it. Uh, it's just really, really plushy and nice and it's it's very rich looking and you lay that 1959 pacer down in there and you just go, oh baby, is that a cool looking guitar. So you not only get this incredible case, but a 1959 one year, first year, only year K pacer, they just, they're not making it anymore. I sure you know that. So grab this guitar, it is so cool, and whoever gets it is absolutely going to love it. And hey, while you're here on my YouTube channel, why don't you hit subscribe uh, while you do that. Uh, and the reason you do that is, uh, you know what, next week you're gonna get another demo from me. And the week after that, you're gonna get another demo from me. Week after week after week until you're tired of law mat. You're gonna get demos every week of uh, really, really cool guitars. So hit that subscribe button. And hey, go to lawmanguitars.com and check out all of our cool guitars. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate you watching my demos. Thanks a lot.